Hey Pauline, it is July 19th, 2012, day 46 of the project, and yeah, I guess we're still talking about books today. And thank you for finally clearing up the dilemma between my book and, well, our books and what we've actually read. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite authors and why they're my favorite and slash good and bad about them. So I'm going to first start off with Tamara Pierce, because Tamara, Tamara, I don't know. You, you know who I'm talking about. Absolutely bloody amazing author who has written so many books that I can't even believe that some of the stuff comes out of her writing. And it's just incredible stuff about like knighthood and what is a woman, what is a strong woman character. Does a woman have to play by the rules or can she bend the rules to her own will? Which I think is kind of cool. And I quite enjoy her books, and they're just fantastic books. They're light, they're easy, they're funny, they're, they can make you laugh, they can make you cry. Anyway, it's just an all-around good book. Of course, you have to have J.K. Rowling to the book of, like, to the list of favorite authors. Just simply because Harry Potter took up so much of our childhoods, and going to see, basically, the Harry Potter sets just was like, I will never be as good. <laughs> and just amazing how one person's mind can create this entirely different world is absolutely amazing and yeah okay I have issues with certain books and different aspects of all the books but really nobody's perfect so moving on I'm going to then say Patricia Briggs if only because I love the fact that she actually has more realistic side to werewolves and vampires than a lot of authors no, they are not sparkly. No, the werewolves aren't all nice. And no, all vampires are not mean. But not all vampires are nice either. So I think that's a kind of a cool aspect where you can have the best of both worlds. Where you can have the dangerous, the mysterious, and the very dark side of all the creatures. But then you also see that they are very round and they're very interesting. And they have good sides. They also have bad sides. They all, like, all the characters have flaws, which I think is fantastic. And I really wish I could create something with all the backstories and stuff like that that she has created and that she slowly reveals around. So I think that's really cool. My final author that I'm going to add to this list is Christopher Paolini. And yes, I have good and I have bad st stuff to say about him. Good is he creates this sort of warlike aspect to his books that just makes it seem so realistic in a sense, but also very, very fictitious. And I think being able to take someone's mind away from this world and transport them to another world is amazing. However, I have to say that there is a lot of description for description sake, and I that's a lot of description. Like, you can skip whole chapters and be like, I still know what's going on with the plot. <laughs> I, yeah. Some people might agree, might disagree, but that's my opinion. And, yeah, I won't be able to get together this weekend. Probably next weekend. And we will try and see if we can get something together. And that would be awesome. So, hopefully, well, I'll see your video tomorrow. See ya.